Hi there. Now for this question, we're told that a biased die with six faces is rolled and the discrete random variable x represents the score on the utmost face. The probability distribution of x is shown in this table. And for the first part, we're given that e of x, the expected value of x, is equal to 4.2. And we're asked to find the value of a and the value of b for five marks. So if you'd like to do this, haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now I'm going to give you the numerical solutions to this first of all, but if you don't want to see them, just look away now. Okay, well, if you'd like to see how this is done, then I'll take you through the process. First of all, then, we should be familiar with the fact that all of the probabilities should total 1. So what we've got here, then, is 3a plus 2b plus 0.3 should equal 1. So let's just put that in, first of all, that 3a plus 2b plus the 0.3 should equal 1. And from this we can subtract 0.3 from both sides and so therefore we end up with 3a plus 2b equals 1 minus 0.3 which is 0.7. So I've got two unknowns here, can't solve this so I'll number it 1 and we're looking for another equation that we can use so we can solve simultaneously for a and b. And that comes from the fact here that e of x, the expected value of x, is 4.2. And again, you can always check this out in my tutorials, but you should be familiar with the fact that e of x for a discrete probability distribution is always equal to sigma, the sum of, any observed value multiplied by its corresponding probability, probability that x equals the little observed value x. And for this particular table that we've got here, x will take on the values 1 all the way up to 6. So with this, that means that therefore what we've got is 1 times a, or in other words, a plus 2 times a plus 3 times a plus 4 times b, 5 times b, 6 times 0.3, when all added together, should equal 4.2. So if we just finish this off, we've got then a plus 2a plus 3a, and then we've got plus 4b plus 5b, and then plus 6 times 0.3, which is going to be 1.8, and that should equal the expected value of x, which we're told is 4.2. Simplifying this then, we end up with a total of 6a, and then plus 9b, and if I subtract 1.8 from both sides, 4.2 minus 1.8 is 2.4. Now, before I number this 2, equation 2, I can see that if I was to divide this through by 2, I could make this into a 3a. And so that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll be able to use the process of elimination to solve these simultaneous equations. So I'm going to now divide through by 2. And if I do that, we end up with half of 6a then being 3a. Half of 9b is going to be 4.5b, and if I divide 2.4 by 2, I get 1.2. And so I'm going to call that equation 2. There's many ways you can solve simultaneous equations. You don't have to follow this method, but uh, I just think for this particular occasion, this will be the best way. Anyway, so now that I've got 3a in both my equations, I'm going to do equation 2, subtract equation 1. And if we do that, then 3a minus the 3a, that goes to 0. 4.5b minus the 2b is just going to leave me with 2.5b. And then we've got 1.2 
minus 0.7 is 0.5. And if I now divide both sides by 2.5, 0.5 then divided by 2.5, that leaves me with a value of 0.2. So therefore, B is the 0.2. Okay, so uh, just do that. Now that we've got B, simple to get A. All we've got to do is substitute this value either into equation 1 or 2. Up to you. I'm going to substitute this into 1. So we'll just say that sub in equation 1. And if we do that, we've got 3A. Okay, 3A plus 2 times 0 0.2 gives 0 0.7. So this is 0 0.4, so I can subtract 0 0.4 from both sides, and we're left with 3a equals 0 0.7 minus 0 0.4, which is 0 0.3. And if I now divide both sides by 3, a equals 0 0.1. So there's my values then, a 0 0.1, b is 0 0.2.